day one of the touring anglers association went down and the future looks bright for them if you like this kind of content please click that like and subscribe button become part of the team and family and i really do appreciate it now it's not the biggest tournament out there hasn't had the most media coverage but the touring anglers association started day one on lake lanier and i thought i'd go over some of the stuff that i've watched and read so their first tournament only has 47 anglers i know they expected more they had 125 plus people acknowledge them and express interest in fishing this tournament but unfortunately they only had 47. now there are anglers that have conflict of interest or some just don't feel like they can do well there's many excuses that they can use and as they continue to do tournaments i i expect they'll get more and more anglers for their first tournament as what they're calling the largest pot fishing tournament world's biggest it's not bad can it be better yes but 47 anglers plunked down five thousand dollars and some of the guys that are in this are massive names in the industry and let me say this right now i need to give kudos to bass fan 365 anglers channel advanced anglers and fish nor georgia for collaborating and having the weigh-in live on all their facebook channels so today this afternoon at three or four whatever time it is that the weigh-in is you can go on facebook go to one of their channels and watch the live weigh-in and it is going to be streaming live to almost 180,000 people so thank you to those guys because there isn't any streaming on this one there probably won't be any streaming the good thing about this tournament and what most of the anglers or probably all the anglers are saying is first there's no forward-facing sonar second and i've never taken this into I've never thought about this because I'm not a tournament fisherman. I don't expect to ever be a tournament fisherman. I don't want to do it. And a lot of the anglers are really enjoying the no practice period, which is a little mind boggling to me. They had a four hour drive through around the, the lake to scope out and to use their electronics as much as possible. But a majority of the anglers that are fishing said this no practice really gets back to the basics of how bass fishing is it makes everyone in a level playing field and when you have the excitement that's happening behind the taa right now it's really a great thing for bass fishing enthusiasts and the future for the taa only looks like it's going to get bigger and better they're going to make they're going to have a second tournament and i'm sure the positive things and the negative things they'll learn from and try to make the next tournament bigger better and more fun for everybody. And some of that fun just includes having what I heard was food trucks at the at the beginning and at the end of the day. It, you'd be surprised at how many people and anglers are starving and if they have that food re available to them that they can, that it makes the day a little bit more enjoyable. And there are anglers live streaming on their Facebook page. Joey Suventes, I think that's how he say his name, and I apologize if it's wrong, is streaming day one right now. And it's really kind of funny because if you watch him on Facebook, you can see him looking down like it looks like he's using forward-facing sonar, and he is not. He's looking down at a graph to see where his spot is that he might have found during that drive-through. The other funny thing about Joey out there is he's Carolina rigging or he's just really slow bouncing a Texas rig or Carolina rig off the bottom to get bites. But every time an angler comes by, he starts twitching his bait like it's a jerk bait. It's, it's really quite funny. So day one leaders include Chris Johnston, Jared Littner, Rob Jordan, Emil Wagner, Jesse Millsaps, Drew Cook, Keith Carson, William Fletcher, David Williams, Shane Peck are all in the top 10. The first day weights were pretty good to be honest 24 pounds was leading the weight that's a good bag of fish johnston was fishing shallow water and flipping and using a small swim bait where jared littner caught a 7.1 7.41 pound stud that is really pretty amazing could win him that extra five thousand dollars for big bass this isn't a cheap tournament it's five thousand dollars to to get in but the winning angler is going to make eighty thousand dollars and the best thing about this tournament is that it's almost a hundred percent payback they had to take some money back because of things they had to buy or whatever but it's less than five thousand dollars this is the way fishing tournaments were supposed to be it wasn't supposed to be just about 
getting out there and scoping and doing all of it. It is refreshing to see us go back to where it is. So I'll try to cover day two tomorrow, but if you wanna see more, go to those guys' channel and watch the live feed and go to Touring Anglers Association and give them a like and a follow. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Cheers.